Hey everyone, hope you're all well out there. Today I'm going to show you how to make my very own restaurant style dish, my scallop and benito ceviche. Enjoy guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Joey Sultana here with another recipe brought to you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own bonito ceviche. So I'll be showcasing a few ingredients and techniques along the way and I'll show you guys my plate up on my ceviche. So traditionally it's tuna made for a ceviche for a recipe like this, but today I'm going to use my bonito that I caught the other day. So this is not too bad in flavour, it's a bit different than tuna. And this recipe I've made, I've worked on it for a bit now and it is super, super delicious. So check this out. And today I'll be using my trusty Delstrong Shadow Black Series knife for this video. Love using this knife, really recommend it. Guys, check their website and their socials out at delstrong.com. Alright, so the full recipe will be on the description below on my profile, so check it out. Now let's go have some fun and I'll show you guys the steps on how to make your own ceviche and I'll show you guys a few techniques along the way on how to make a really nice restaurant style plate. So check it out. Alright, so first things first is we're going to create our Benito ceviche. So what we're going to do is grab a really sharp knife. So I'm using my trusty Dalstrong Shadow Black Series Chef Knife. I love using it and I always will be using this for a while now. And you want to just really dice up your bonito fish into really nice small dice cubes for this. You want to cut it really small so the acid from the vinegar and the oil all permeates through the whole dish. So cut it into small cubes like so. I honestly love using bonito for this recipe. You can use other fish like salmon. You can use tuna for this, but I just love the texture and the flavour that the banana brings to the dish. Alright, so you want to add it into a bowl now. Follow through, you want to add in one teaspoon of soy sauce with low salt reduced. And then you want to also add one teaspoon of sesame oil, just for pure flavour. I love sesame oil. And a bunch of chives. So I've got about two teaspoons here of chives. You want to finely chop up really nice and small. You can use echelots or green onions for this, but I just love the flavour of what chives brings and it's just a lot more easier to eat on with a ceviche. So I do prefer chives. Next thing is you want to grab a whole chilli. I'm just going to use half today. And I really don't like the seeds and the membrane in it. It's too hot for me. That's just a personal preference there. So you can have the seeds and the membrane in there, but I'm just going to finally chop this up into small brin rolls really small dice and you want to add this in there. So that was about half a red chili. Also you want to follow through with the zest of half a lime and also juice of half a lime here. You can also use lemon juice, that's a different preference, it's up to you. And I like to also season everything I make, full season with a bit of salt. Add in a tablespoon of this soy egg yolk curd I made at home, it's all homemade this stuff. So it's a really simple recipe, if you want to have the recipe let me know in the comments below. You don't have to add it into this, it's just the preference that I love and the texture that it gives. And that is it guys, give it a mix and set it aside. Now we're going to prep up our onions, our little shallots here that we've got. So first things first, add some butter to a pan. I've got two teaspoons of unsalted butter. You want to peel and take out the petals off the onions, chuck them in a hot pan with that butter and you want to cook this down until the butter really reduces and develops that nutty golden brown flavour and until the onions reach a really nice caramelised, dark infused flavour. Beautiful. Alright guys, so we've got our onions there, nice and caramelised with that burnt butter. I'm going to add a touch of salt, just to reduce more and get more flavour out of the onions here. So as you can see here, it's just starting to caramelise here on the edges, that's what you want. Cook it for another 30 seconds and we'll be ready to go. Beautiful, once that is done, you want to set it aside and you want to grab out one cucumber and you want to give it a nice peel and slice it really thinly. So you want to reserve about four to six pieces of the peel. All right, so with the cucumber peels, you just want to set it aside, we'll prep them later on. And then you want to, with the leftovers, you want to finely slice it and dice it into small cubes to add it into our shallot dressing. 
So for now we're going to be starting off our shallot dressing, fairly simple to do. So cut down your cucumbers like so. So you want to finely dice it into small cubes like this. Alright, so with the cucumber peels, you want to add a bit of salt and sugar to your cucumber. And you want to let it sit there for about 5 to 8 minutes until it starts to cure and the salt and the water do its work by drawing out the moisture from the cucumber. Alright, so you want to follow through with one half of a red onion and you want to also finely dice this up roughly the same size as the cucumber because we want to make all these ingredients in our dressing pretty much the same size and texture wise. So follow that through with a small handful of chopped coriander and a small handful of chopped parsley. You want to chop this really well and give it a good mix. Alright guys, so for our shallot dressing, all we're going to do is put everything together in a bowl. So you're going to have your coriander parsley mix, your red onion pomegranates, some cucumber that we diced before, some olive oil, some salt and some red wine vinegar here we've got. Add in your parsley and coriander. Follow that through with some onions that we did earlier, then your cucumber. Alright, add in your pomegranates. So I've got a teaspoon of pomegranates there. You want to season very well with a bit of salt and add in your olive oil. So I've got about four tablespoons of olive oil here and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Give that a good stir. You might want to add a bit more oil if you needed because I want this to be a nice dressing like this. Add in one teaspoon of honey blossom, my favorite ingredient at the moment. I love honey, pure organic. Add that in, give it a good mix and set that aside. Here I've just got one radish, just cut in half and I'm just slicing it to nice thin slices like this. Add in some ice cold water and set aside for later for garnish. Next thing is you want to prep some peas. I've just blanched these peas, there's about a third of a cup of peas here. And next step also with these, I'm not gonna just leave them whole, I'm gonna peel them like this. So you want to pit them off their skins and just use the insides of the peas like this. You don't have to guys, I just love the process of doing this and the finesse it looks on the dish. A lot more appealing. Beautiful. Set that aside once that's done. Now for our shallots that we prepped earlier in that nice butter sauce. We want to place it on a tray and we're going to get our blow torch here. We're going to burn our onions off just to give that really nice flavour and crisp to it. Don't have to do this next step. Keep it just as it is at the moment. but. Like I said, the more flavour in this dish really develops. Now I really like to cook them off really well until it comes really dark and really charcoal -y look. That's when you want. And set aside. Alright guys, so we're nearly there. All of our ingredients are pretty much set and ready to plate up. We've got our mise en place done. So here we've got our bonito ceviche. Here we've got our shallot dressing. Some fried capers. Some poached peas. So I've got some pickled cucumber here. And some radish. Got some caviar and our burnt shallots and I'm just going to drizzle it with a little bit of our dill and parsley oil and of course we've got here our scallop so I'm just going to teach you guys how to fry this scallop and show you the best way to cook it to perfection. So here's our scallop here. What you want to do first is you want to pat dry it. This is just going to take out all the moisture that lives into the scallop. So you want to pat dry this until it's super dry and as you notice here this part here is called the muscle from the scallop. You don't really need that. When you cook, it's gonna fall off anyway. So just remove it with your hands. Just wanna season it. Good amount of salt on the other side. Touch of salt again, beautiful. And now we'll start frying this into our pan. All right, so you wanna add in two knobs of your unsalted butter to a pan, and you wanna bring this to a medium to high heat. Give it a swirl, add a touch of olive oil for that flavour wise and then add in your scallop. Beautiful. Season well and you want to cook this off for about a minute on one side and then flip it and cook it for another 30 seconds to finish it off. So once you flip your scallop you just want to baste it with the goodness of the butter so this is about 30 seconds left through the cooking process and make sure your butter is nice and foamy like this and chuck that straight back into it. This will just develop more flavour a hundred times quicker as well. Such a great technique. You guys should try it out.
All right, so you're gonna rest your scallop for two minutes and now we'll start to plate up our bonito dish. So you're gonna place a large size ring cutter in the middle of your plates and then you wanna start by spooning down your bonito ceviche. It's had enough time to cure and cook that meat off. So remember, with the ceviche, you wanna cook and make sure your acid is working. So you can't serve it straight away when you marinate it. You gotta let it sit for a while. So next thing is you wanna add in your soy egg yolk curd that I've made here. Just a few drops of that dill and parsley oil. Add in your scallop, it's resting now for about two minutes. Serve it straight in the middle there. Next you wanna add in your burnt onions here, I've got three. Place them nicely just around the scallop. Then you wanna roll out your cucumber peels. So I did cut them a little bit shorter and peeled the actual green skin outside for some of them. You don't have to, but I just like the look of it and it gives it a more nice circle motion like this. And you want to roll these up really nice and neat. So the salt and sugar actually really penetrate and draw the moisture and it really helps it make it easier to roll. So that's why I do that. If you do it straight away, it will just break off and it won't be that good and tasty as well. There's flavor here. So you want to add these into your dish just in between each of the onion petals. Next, you want to add in your peas, like so. Follow through your radish that we kept in ice cold water, guys, so make sure that happens. It really helps them to curl up and shrivel up like this. Place them nice and evenly. Follow through by adding some capers that I just deep fried in some vegetable oil just to get a nice crispy texture to the dish. Very tasty. If you'd like to see the recipe or the simple method on how to do this, just comment down below. Next, you want to add in your caviar. I love using caviar in nearly every fish dish or seafood that I make. Just gives it a really nice salty, pungent flavor. I'm going to add that in there. Follow with a drizzle of that dill and parsley oil. And then you want to add in your shallot dressing here. Just scatter it nice and evenly around the scallop. And finish off, guys, with a few garnish leaves here. I've got some fresh fennel leaves, some flowers, some chive flowers. Or you can even just leave it the way it is without any herbs or anything like that. Really, this is just a nice restaurant-style kind of dish I'm making at the moment. For you guys to learn at home, simple techniques and ways of playing a dish is actually so easy. You just have to be a bit patient. So that is it guys, simple as that. Finish off with a bit of that soy egg yolk curd just to bring the colors out. Thanks guys for watching. There is your bonito and pan seared scallop dish done. Very simple recipe and really simple techniques guys on how to make a restaurant quality dish. If you like what I did, please let me know. Comment down below. Love to see your comments and requests on future videos. Lucky last guys, add in that delicious dill and parsley oil give a good amount around that beautiful dish make it look pretty and there you go guys that is your sexy bonito scallop dish done enjoy guys have a bit of fun around guys with the kitchen this is an amazing delicious dish and i hope you enjoy it tag me on my socials at joey sultana and i'd love to see the results enjoy guys take care for now and i'll see you guys next time ciao